I'm going to demonstrate how to use a heat gun in the chemistry laboratory. Using a heat gun is very important in some reaction because there are some specific reactions that are very moisture sensitive and after drying the glassware, if you find that there's still some moisture inside the conical flask, it may just stop all your reactions. Such reactions would include the Grignard reaction, some coupling reactions that involve nucleosin, ferrocin, and ionic solvents. So it is very important to make sure that your glasswares, especially in this case, the round bottom flask, is totally dry and free of moisture. So here we have a two neck round bottom flask, rubber septum, a stirring bar, and the vacuum line adapter. Now first up, we have the rubber septum sealing off one of the neck. We insert the stirring bar and we cap off the other neck using the glass joint. Now we're clamping carefully onto the retort stand, adjusting the boss head, make sure it's not too tight. Once it's done, we connect the vacuum line tubing to the glass joint. And once done, we turn on the vacuum pump. Once done, we rotate the knob of the vacuum line now this is the heat gun and once you're ready, make sure everything are secure. We aim at the base of the glassware and switch it on by pressing the button. Notice how we rotate the heat gun so that it does not concentrate all the heat at one source. Make sure it's all even now. And at the bottom left hand corner you see that there's oil bubbling. This indicates there's a flow of gas. In this case, it is nitrogen gas. It is very important for us to warm up all parts of the glassware, including the joint. Now pay attention not to have the heat gun blowing hot air to the rubber septum because it might melt and contaminate your glassware. Never put your finger near the heat gun as it might cause injury. We change it to the nitrogen. So now we are blowing clean, dry, inert nitrogen air into the round bottom flask. So now we are flushing the glassware clean. And then we wait for it to cool down. Remember, it is still very hot. So we should not add any chemicals right now because it may just decompose your reagents and affect the condition. Once done, we rotate the knob of the vacuum line. That's all. I hope you learned something from the video. Good day.